Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Larson. I have a great read aloud for you. It's almost Valentine's Day, so I have a Valentine book. This is called Valentine Blessings by the Berenstein Bears. It's written by Mike Berenstein. When winter comes to bear country, a young cub's mind usually turns to thoughts of ice hockey. And Brother Bear was no exception. He was the star forward of his hockey team, the Bear Country Cousins. The big game with their crosstown rivals, the Beartown Bullies, was coming soon. In fact, it was set for Valentine's Day, February 14th. Brother and his whole team were practicing hard every afternoon. The day before the big game, Brother came home from practice, still thinking about his slap shot. He looked in the mailbox and saw a big pink envelope addressed to him. Still thinking about hockey, he opened it. To his shock, it was a big pink valentine. It said, Oh, Brother Bear, will you be mine? From Sweetie Bear, your super secret valentine. Sweetie Bear, Brother gasped. Who on earth is that? Who could have sent this card to me? Sister Bear noticed Brother's stunned look as he came inside, and she noticed the big pink envelope in his hand. What's that? she asked. Looks like a valentine. Oh, it's nothing, said Brother, hiding his valentine behind his back. But Sister wasn't fooled. She wasn't very interested in ice hockey, but she sure was interested in Valentine's Day. All those hearts and flowers were right up her alley. It looked to her as though Brother Bear had a secret admirer. How's the ice, Brother? asked Papa. Ice? said Brother, still thinking about the valentine. What ice? The ice for the hockey game? said Papa. Is it going to be okay for the big game? Oh, sure, said Brother. It'll be fine. What's the matter, son? Papa asked. Are you worried about the game? Those bullies are a pretty tough team. Oh, no, said Brother. It's not that. It's just... He shrugged and showed Papa the valentine. Papa looked at the valentine and smiled. I know how you feel, he said. I got a valentine like this when I was about your age. At first, I worried a lot, said Papa. It was from a secret admirer who just called herself Cutie Bear. Yuck, said Brother. Just what I said to myself, agreed Papa. I wondered who it could be from. Then it hit me. It must be that cute girl cub who sat next to me in school. She was always giggling and smiling at me. Gosh, said Brother, what did you do then? Do, said Papa. Why, I up and married the girl. Brother's mouth dropped open. You married her, he said. Not back then, said Papa, laughing. I married her later on. It was your mother. Mama Bear, said Brother, taking it all in. That's right, son, Papa smiled. After all, it had to start sometime. Brother thought that over a little. Double yuck, he whispered to himself. Don't worry about this sweetie bear, said Papa, patting Brother's shoulder. I'm sure whoever she is must be a very nice girl. She just has a big crush on a handsome young hockey player. Brother blushed. And remember, Papa went on, having a crush is nothing to be ashamed about. Brother had never thought about it that way before. Talking to Papa made him feel better about the whole thing. Now he could concentrate on what was really important, hockey.
The day of the big game, Valentine's Day, arrived at last. Brother suited up in his hockey gear. His whole family and lots of other folks from Bear Country went down to the frozen pond to watch the game. Brother joined his team to warm up. The Bear Town bullies warmed up on the other side of the pond. They were big and tough, especially their goalie. Whoever was under that scary-looking goalie's mask was one terrific hockey player. And that's the goalie right there. They're the one that stand in front of the net and try to keep you from uh, hitting the puck into the net. That's the goalie. The referee dropped the puck and the game was underway. The bullies were tough opponents indeed. But the country cousins knew their stuff too. The game seesawed back and forth. Finally, the score was 2-2 two to two with only a few seconds left on the clock. Brother drove for the bully's net. He took a hard check and sprawled on the ice. As he fell, his stick slapped the puck, which slipped into the bully's net right under the, go the goalie's guard. The game was over, and the country cousins were the winners. Two to three. The crowd cheered long and loud. Brother noticed that some of the cute girl cubs from school were cheering louder than anyone. In fact, some of them were cheering about him. Brother Bear, Brother Bear, like no other. Yay, Brother, they chanted. Brother wondered if one of them might be a secret admirer, Sweetie Bear. The two teams lined up to shake hands after the game. When Brother came to the bully's goalie, he had quite a surprise. She, that's right, she had taken off her mask. The bully's big, rough, tough goalie was a she. It said so right there on the extra-large t-shirt of Miss Sweetie Bear. Sweetie Bear is you? asked Brother. Yes, indeedy, said Sweetie Bear. I really admire the way you skate. Maybe we could practice together sometime. Sure, he said. Why not? And I love how Sister Bear's watching and she's so excited. Sister was very pleased with how things turned out. She skated around Brother and Sweetie Bear thinking about little hearts and flowers. Sister, said Brother angrily. Now, Brother, Mama said, it's Valentine's Day. I love you, brother dear, said sister. Brother rolled his eyes. I love you too, sis, he sighed. After all, it was Valentine's Day. I love that. That's so cute. And that was Valentine Blessings. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day.